Hey all, we're working on lab four and we've collected our data. So now it's time to make some MC simulations so that we can have the log of our data and an error on that value. And that'll be for every single data point. So for however many data points we have, times two because we have an L and a T, um, that's how many Monte Carlos we'll have to produce our data that we can then find a slope of um, to find the power we raise our formula to. So I have a long table here, or a wide table I should say, um, with the trials, but then I come out with my means and standard deviations for length. And all the way at the end, we have mean and standard deviations for period. So. Let's put that data into some Monte Carlo simulations. I'm gonna add two new sheets. One new sheet will be for the lengths and one new sheet will be for the times, just so we can keep everything together. And just a note um, down here in this cell, I have three lengths for this uh, sample data, but very likely you will need to use more than three lengths. Um, but we're just showing you the methods. Everything that you do for length one, you do for length two you do for length three. So we really only need to talk about number one, but we'll run through three lengths um, to show you what your sheets will end up looking like. So let's add another, start plus. Um, sheet seven, interestingly named, but let's call it LM. So, I'm going to use the natural log. I mean, you could use log base anything, but I like the natural log, so I'm going to use it. It's LN. All right, we're on the new sheet. Let's get our template set up. We will have length number. We'll have L itself in meters. It's uncertainty. Oops, not curlies. Um. And then what's going to pop out will be ln of L. And sigma. Ln of L. Great, so now we got all our stuff. This will be length number one. And now we can reference the cells here. So. Let's reference our first L. So we'll pop back over to lengths. Length number one. Mean for number one is this one. Sigma L. Oops. This is a capital. But now we can reference. Awesome. Great, that's the header portion. Now let's get the MC together. We'll have trial number that starts with one and then to have it count up, we can have equals the cell above plus one. Sweet. And now for our MC, let's do it. So now we're into the MC. We're gonna take the lat natural log of, oop, don't forget our equals, uh -huh. uh, equals ln natural log. So we can just type it in the way it normally is written. And now we want our random choice from the normal distribution defined by L and sigma, L. So, norm inverse, and we're taking a random choice. And the mean is L. The next one is this one, <laughs> sigma. Um, now we're gonna pull this down so we don't want it to change when we change number. So we'll put a fixed reference in front of the number. We won't put it on the letter because we're gonna end up being able to drag these to the right in a very convenient way. But let's highlight, um, actually, this one won't drag because it's just one. We need to drag from two. So 
or not from two, from nine, but trial two. So let's pull this down. We only get up to 993. Let's add a thousand more just to pull this down to a thousand trials. Threes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. And we're going up to 1007. So now when we take our average for what L and L really is, at least for us, average of, I'm not highlighting the whole thing, just starting at the beginning. And then I know that it's 1007. Great. And this will be the standard deviation is one equal st dev and we're a go <clears throat> sorry. And as always, we're using the sample. And it's the same range. I'm not dragging all the way down because it takes a long time. I know that the last cell is 1007. So it's just another way to do it. Cool. And now we get to do the fun part, which is when we highlight both of these. We can just go right here. Paste them there and paste them there. Paste them for however many lengths you have. Um, of course, I'm only doing three. So like two, like three. So now, of course, these didn't increment over. Um, or no, not these. Uh, these are kind of weird because they're pulling numbers from here. These are obviously not L and sigma. They incremented two over to the right, and that's not where they live. So once we fix these two numbers, um, these errors should be gone. So let's go grab length two and sigma two, or sigma length two, right? So equals length two, enter. And now we'll have equals, and now we want to grab our sigma, enter. Sweet. And our errors are gone, so that's good. And we have our values here. So now let's do it for this one. Let's grab like three. And sigma length three. Great. And there we have it. We have all our LNLs and we have the sigmas and that's for each respective length. So we're just doing Monte Carlo simulations. Um, we've gotten pretty good at it. They come out quick. So this is the Monte Carlo simulation for the Ls. We still need one for the Ts. So let's just make a copy of this um, and we'll, we'll click duplicate so we get same thing, we get copy of L and L and C. So let's rename this. Rename. Now we're on L and of big T, which is period. So now we're not on length number. Well, we still are. These are still the period for a given length number. We need to change these ones. It's going to be T and seconds. It's going to be sigma T. LN of T and sigma LN T. Sweet. Um, I want these on each one. Oops. I want these on each one, so I'm going to copy. And I want to keep um, these averages and standard deviations as the averages and standard deviations of the column below. Oops, let's fix these two. Um, so I don't need to mess with those. All I need to mess with is the data that's under t and sigma t. So that's cool. Um, so let's put them in.
So we got 109.109 .109 here. That's not it. Let's get equals. Go back to our lengths. And these are all the way at the end. Um, of course, these are managed mean and standard deviations for the 10 oscillations. The period is for one oscillation. So that's why we have mean standard deviation, and then we have it again. So for our first length, it's 1, or it's length 1, so it's this 0. 0.8086. The sigma, oops, it's on this sheet, it's right here. Awesome. All right, there's our t's for length 1, 2, and 3. Let's get this junk out. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab these data from the lengths table. Great. I have all my data now. Um, and they're all inside of these um, MC simulations. Not inside, but above. All in the columns of their respective MC simulations. So the next thing to do is going to be make a summary table. That'll be the next video, though. And this concludes this video.